The Mississippi baby is a very exciting case because chronically, uh, or forever, HIV has been considered to be an incurable disease. So to have a patient who clearly has HIV, who gets on medicines for only a few months, really, and then seems to have been at least functionally cured is very exciting for everybody because it gives hope that HIV might finally be cured. Now, the question is, uh, does the Mississippi baby's case uh, really hold promise for everyone, or is there something special about that person uh, who allowed uh, the baby in, the, in Mississippi to control the virus in a way that other people uh, usually can't, but that special people can. Uh, from my perspective, there's a group of patients we already know about called elite controllers who uh, get HIV infection, uh, but they maintain good immune system function and they keep the virus in their body down to very, very low levels. And so that presumably is a function of the host genetics uh, that allows you to control the virus better. So is it possible that if you got a very special person, like the Mississippi baby, who may have the genetics of an elite controller and treated that person at a very special time, very, very early in their infection, would you be able to get to this same place of a functional cure? But notice those are two special things, a special person in a special time in their infection. So what, as exciting as the Mississippi baby case is, it may not really allow us a broad population-based approach to, uh, to trying to cure HIV and other studies are ongoing. One of the things that I think is my most important message overall is that you never have to have the discussion about cure of HIV if you prevent it. And so the most important thing to understand about children with HIV is they don't ever have to get it. If you test all pregnant women for HIV infection, identify who's infected, treat that woman with standard three drug therapy, bring her virus load down to undetectable levels, she can have a normal delivery and has less than 0.1% of having a child uh, with HIV. And we are not perfect at that in the United States. There's still somewhere around 200 babies born every year and many of those transmissions could be prevented by testing all pregnant women for HIV, treating HIV-infected women, bringing their virus load down to undetectable levels, and then the baby has a great chance of never being infected.